Hello, Chris here, uh, Creative Director for TEDx Calgary, and uh, welcome speakers, coaches. Thank you so much for all the work you've been doing with your, your speakers. I realize I should have done this earlier and kind of explain how the presenting system works. Is it going to work at the event? Um, I just assumed everybody knew what a dual screen and, and keynote setup was. So I'm going to explain it here and show you how it's going to look. So essentially what we have here is the keynote program which looks a lot just like your PowerPoint presentation. And you'll see up here is where the slide is and then below you'll see the presenter's notes. And so this is where presenters can actually put their notes that they want to have displayed on the presenter screen. Well, what is the presenter screen? Well, I've set up here and I'll show you if I just move the camera. You'll see up here is essentially a 22 inch, 24 inch monitor that's going to be sitting on the first row just below sort of the uh, eye line of the speaker at the actual event and they'll be able to use this as their notes and, and what happens is when I hit play you'll see that their notes magically appear on the presenter screen now if I show you what shows below if you can imagine that what is showing on the laptop right now is actually what shows on the projection screen that's what everybody else is gonna see but what the speaker is gonna see is they're going to see the um, the notes as you can see you can also change the size of the font so that it will be quite visible uh, for the speaker and then on the right hand side you'll see the elapsed time as well as what is currently showing in the slide and what will be coming up next so these are all just sort of helpful things so that the speaker doesn't need to look back at the screen they can just look at the presenters notes and understand where they're going to be and what you'll see here is that when I actually click and move on to the next slide, it essentially moves on to the next set of notes. And this is really useful because this is controlled by essentially the clicker. So when they're ready to move on to the next slide, they can see and go on to their next set of notes. Now in some cases, you'll notice that maybe they have too many notes for that one slide. So you can see it's starting to bleed into the bottom there. Well, maybe they don't want their notes uh, to to be at the bottom there in that position or if it's too long nobody's going to be able to scroll through it in which case the easiest way to deal with this issue is to duplicate this slide and then um, have the set of notes continue in the next slide so what happens is that when the speaker reaches the end of the the notes he clicks moves on to the next slide, seats the next set of slides but to everybody else the image on the projection screen has not changed and this is how you can deal with a case where maybe the slide in the background is not necessarily something they're going to be speaking to. It's just going to be a, a background for the speaker. Well, in which case, they can just duplicate the slide multiple times and really use the presenter notes as their cue cards. And that essentially is how it works. It's pretty straightforward. It's uh, much easier to use than a, than a teleprompter, and it all depends on having those notes in the notes section of the PowerPoint slide package you're going to be putting together. So I hope that helps you get a sense of, of how it's going to work. On June 3rd, we'll have another rehearsal. They'll have a chance to take a look at this. And so this may be something uh, you may want to pass on to your speaker if they want that information, uh, or you can just explain it to them if you uh, are meeting up with them or they have questions. All right. Well, that's it. And looking forward to the big event. Thank you again so much for all your work and we'll talk soon.